Welcome to the second in the series, Creating a Professional PowerPoint Presentation. This is where we left off at the previous uh, in the series, number one. And this time we're going to continue on and look at adding a chart to a slide and also how to use slide transitions. So first of all, in the Home tab, I'm going to add a new slide and the slide I'm going to create I'm going to change the layout to a title and content slide and this time I'm going to say these are the membership projections in other words I want to see a chart of the growth in the members for the next we'll say four years and I need to insert a chart and just a uh, just a basic column chart will be fine and when I click OK I see that after a short time the ability to create the chart will appear and Excel opens on the right hand side of the screen and I now need to adjust the data here in Excel so we'll say year one and I'm just going to auto fill that down and you'll see that the years over here in the PowerPoint presentation have changed I don't need the series here so I'll delete uh, the series whoops up here we'll just delete those series don't need to see those and now we'll say in year one there's a thousand two hundred members notice how the chart has changed in the presentation at the end of year two there are two thousand three hundred members uh, year three we'll say was a good year there were four thousand nine hundred members and finally in year for the end of year four we'll say that there are 7,800 members so there we go now I see a chart of the number of members so I can close PowerPoint uh, Excel I'm sorry and uh, there is my PowerPoint chart now you'll know that in PowerPoint presentations that there is the ability to change the transition from one slide to another if there are no transitions then the slides simply immediately appear as I move through them but down here in these buttons down in the right hand corner there is a button called normal that is the view I see at the moment there but right next to it there is a button called slide sorter and I'm going to click on slide sorter because that will show me the miniature of each of the slides if I click on the second slide and hold down the shift key and then click on the last slide I see that each of the slides becomes selected for transitions I don't particularly want to have a transition to open the first slide because very often uh, in a presentation that slide will be on the uh, on the screen uh, on the uh, perhaps the uh, the whiteboard um, waiting for people to arrive and that's the first slide that they'll see however in the other three slides I'm going to set a transition and I click on the transition tab and here I will see that there are various transitions available to me some you probably wouldn't want to use uh, for example the checkerboard shows me how the transition will work uh, that's a bit uh, a bit loud I like to use the fade transition which means that each slide will fade in it's quite a professional transition so now when I go to the slideshow to see how it runs I'll run it from the beginning there's my first slide and when I hit the space bar or click the mouse fades in as does the slide after that 
so there's a nice uh, gentle fade to keep the audience happy and there I see my chart as well so uh, everything's working fine now what I'm going to do is to go back to the presentation go back to normal view down here and I'm going to add another slide so I'll say home tab new slide but this time I want to uh, insert just a layout of a title only slide that one there and here we'll say we'll talk about the uh, members dining facilities and I'm going to insert in this area down here I'm going to insert something called smart art when I click on smart art up pops a window which enables me to choose a smart art graphic and if I scroll down I can see that there are lots of smart art they're, they're really uh, graphical bullet points if you like because I'm going to choose in the list just this simple one here the vertical bullet list and when I click on it and OK there I will see my smart art I will click in here to add text and I'll say uh, fine dining and we might add uh, some text here if you don't want to just uh, click in there and press the backspace key but we'll say executive whoops executive chef and down here we might say something like uh, vegetarian meals available and the text might be something like um, uh, only freshest produce used so that's how I can add a, um, a smart art graphic to my slide and if I point at the edge I can drag it down a little bit whoops we'll just click there and I'll drag it down to we'll say there so there's my uh, uh, slide with a smart art graphic so practice that remember to subscribe and uh, look for number three in the series uh, it will be very very shortly uploaded to YouTube thanks for watching